To do the same problem of the Illinois Department of Transportation and the seat belt, we can go into Megastat. To go to do the problem in Megastat, we go to Megastat, probabilities, discrete probability distribution, and we want the binomial. Here we just fill in our n, which is 12, the number of trials, and notice that Megastat uses p instead of pi for the probability, put our probability in, and we'll leave the graph on there just to take a look at the distribution as well. And if you'll note, 7 was where we were before. If we look at 7 here, we find that it's 0 0.09022, 0 .09022, 0 .09022, and we could do the math. We use this column since there's already a value under the totals, but we can just sum all of these values, which is 7 or greater, just as we had in the other one. And we get 0 0.95634, same as 0 0.95634 when we use the Excel functions. And again, you could do the same math of subtracting the one from 1, the 6 and below. We'll just go ahead and do that. So we get 1 minus the value of the cumulative probability distribution of position 6 or 6 successes in the cumulative distribution. And we get 0.95634, same as we got before, same as we got here. And one of the things you can notice is our distribution is negatively skewed. If you remember, we talked about this a little bit. 0.5 is the point when we start out and we have low values of probability per trial. Our probability distribution is skewed positively. As we get closer to 0.5, the midpoint of our probabilities for each trial, the distribution will become more normally distributed. And then as we increase beyond 0.5 up to 1, it becomes more negatively skewed.